video and welcome to February 2018 and this month is going to be a really important month for you. It's going to be a very important turning point for everyone. Um, there's going to be a lot, a lot happening in the energy, just setting my timer there, um, that's going to be asking you in particular to focus on partnerships and getting partnerships just right. That Aquarius, um, the Sun in Aquarius is going to be in your first house, in your seventh house rather. That's where all the focus is going to be. That's where there's going to be a lot of energy. So you're going to be wanting to get that to work. You're going to be wanting that to work for you. You're wanting, you're going to be wanting that to work for you and the other person involved. And for those of you who are not partnered, you're going to be wanting your self-partnering to work. You're going to be wanting the way that you see yourself to work for you. You're going to be wanting to really be in your corner for yourself, like be your own best friend. And those of you who are looking for new partnerships, you're going to be wanting to make sure that any new partnerships are going to really work for you and allow you to be yourself. You're going to be wanting to let go of submerging yourself Yourself, um, just for a quiet life or to, to keep the peace or you know you're going to want to let go of not honoring yourself in any way shape or form so and if you are um, in um, in a partnership a business partnership you are going to be really really focusing on making that work for you as well so and you could be partnering with organizations or you could be partnering with another person or even a group of people. So that's going to be a big theme and a big focus for Leos throughout February. So we're going to shuffle and we're going to do the first, second, third and fourth week of February and just see, um, just being told to stop there. So we've got the first week, the second week, third and fourth and then I'm going to do angel cards as well to go with those. So we've got the John Holland Psychic Tarot and then we're going to use the Archangel Oracle by Doreen Virtue to go with those as well. So what do Leos need to know most for their highest good in February 2018? Okay, just felt that was where we are. So that's a really good one. That's a really interesting energy. That's, you know, always where the sun is at this time of year for you. The sun is shining on your partnership house. So... For you, more than a lot of people, that whole Valentine's thing is actually quite relevant, unless we're looking at business partnerships. But, you you know, it touches your life in some way. So the first week, you're going to be noticing an acceleration of a lot of things. A lot of things in your life are going to be changing. Um, when I get this Moon Cycles card, Sometimes that relates to not only the moon phases, but also anything hormonal that needs to be addressed or to be looked at. Any sense of, of feeling up and down and uncertain about things or even sensitive, just generally sensitivity. Um, but it's a really great card to get in this um, important month of eclipses. So I'm just going to say... I mean, the message says, notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalise upon these cycles. So it's going to be really, really, really exciting for you to be focusing your energy on that area of your life and dreaming it the way that you would like it to be, especially in the first week. I mean, look up the new moons and uh, look up when the new moon actually is and um, and start do your manifesting around that time but from the very beginning of the month you are going to be thinking about um, what you want to create how you visualize it what's your absolute ideal of people working together people pulling together um, making something really great happen or you know or just really cooperating uh, nicely and things just being really beautiful and harmonious but also productive because you've got this accelerated motion thing so that to me feels like as if it's to do with things outside of relationships like working on collaborative projects with people or with a partner or wanting that and this picture you know she's staring up at this star and it's almost like it's like this wish this distant wish she's not quite sure she can have it she's not quite sure it's possible should I even be wishing for it and um, 
it's basically something that's going to be preoccupying you in that first week. How can we come together more? How can we pull together more? How can I achieve my wishes and dreams? You know, for those who are single, it's going to be, how can I achieve my wishes and dreams? Who is there in my corner with me? Who will help me with this? Who could I co collaborate with? And if not, if you're just really, really happy working alone and really want to make that work, you're going to be wanting to align all aspects of your nature to work together towards something so that you really start to trust and believe that you can do it and move forward in a way that's completely um, integrated, that you are completely integrated with yourself. You know, heart, mind, body, spirit, soul, every part of you is on board with this with your dreams and wishes and so when you start manifesting at the new moon you know that there aren't any hidden beliefs any any limiting beliefs sort of holding you back any niggles any um fractured fragments of inner children or doubts or fears anything like that you want it all on board so that when you wish on that star you are wishing with certainty and with your whole being and in the second week oh lovely okay the second week you get to celebrate something so it could be that you get together with family it could be that there's something coming up that, that there's a birthday that there's um, a reason to get together with people or it could just be that something really nice happens that comes in um, into your life or into your family's life generally or it could be that you get a small victory because we're looking at partnerships we're looking at um, how things move forward and how people move forward together so you know that is a really lovely card to get in terms of people coming together people um, in family groups or in the community or it can even be in, a, in an intimate group it's, it's usually much more to do with friendship but it could be you know for example, a wedding anniversary or something of that nature. But there's just a feeling of lightness, of bubbliness, of appreciation, mutual appreciation and celebration. And along with that, there's a life review. So there's you taking stock of your life and, and healing things that are un unbalanced, healing things that, you know, where you, you're going to be asking yourself, OK, where do I need to change? Um, how can we change? How can we work together? Um, how can I change things within myself? to restore balance and to bring back that sense of joy and celebration in life or in my partnership or within within myself and how I partner with myself. How can I just feel good about life again? So something really nice in the second week that helps you with that. So that's looking really bright. By the time you get to the third week, you're going to be getting a lot of inspiration, but you're going to be wanting to put those inspirations down on paper in solitude or you're going to be wanting to meditate or you're going to be wanting to plan or strategize or prepare or uh, or create but this is something that you will uh, be self-partnering for this is going to be something where you want to go inside and follow and trust your inner light it's the, it's the kind of feeling where you say there you see these energies together it's like where you say to yourself, there you see, I knew that was the right idea. I knew that was going to work. I knew I could trust that. So it's as if you get some kind of inspiration when you, when you start reviewing things and you get some idea of either how people can come together and work together or how you can best galvanise all of your energies. And then you start to put that idea into practice and then you realise just how great, just what a great idea it is. And you realise that in solitude by following your own true light and then by bringing people on board later on. So that's that feels like what happens towards the end of the month. Prosperity begins. Remember who you are. Fantastic. So these two hands here, they could be the, the same person or they could be two hands coming together. And it, it just looks like a card of just a focused intention that brings a reward, that brings an affirmation of everything that you've known all throughout the month. And I've got to say, I feel that what happens in February is kind of laying the groundwork, laying the foundations for what happens for the rest of the year. It feels like a very pivotal month. It, so, you know, 
don't try to condense it all within this month see this as a turning point where you recalibrate where you redirect and where this is what you're moving towards throughout the rest of the year by means of this by means of trusting your vision and learning to work together with people or to self-partner in a productive way trusting your inner light and your ideas that come to you in meditation or that come to you in the quiet and that you you write down and you plan and strategize and knowing that they are going to bring you to a place of prosperity ultimately and if that doesn't all happen within this condensed space of a month trust that that is what you are creating and what's evolving over the course of the year okay and remember who you are I feel is the message of the year for pretty much all of us I've really felt that very strongly at the beginning of the year that this is a year of coming into alignment with who you are living your truth speaking your truth spreading your message being who you are, doing the works that you came here to do and, and just really celebrating that sense of being the most complete version of yourself that you could possibly be. And I feel like I'm going to pull another card. Um, I'm going here. Okay, yes, oh, I'm so happy because I sometimes I don't want to pick a tarot because they could be very prescriptive and sometimes harsh, but that is just beautiful. I mean, how perfect on a spread that's about um, marriage and partnering and partnerships and coming together and working with people. It just couldn't be more perfect. So the message there for you, Leo, is to focus on harmony, to focus on blending, to focus on synergy and synthesis, to focus on bringing all factors together, allowing everyone to bring to the table what they're best at, including all aspects of yourself, your character, all your different gifts, all the different parts of your brain that you've had to use in your life, in your development. Let everything to come together and work together and end, uh, end that sense of submerging any part of who you are because you judge it in any way so you know get rid of you know cut away from anywhere that you feel you're not honoring yourself whether it's you judging parts of yourself or whether it's you um, just letting parts of yourself go for the greater good there is a way to achieve harmony for everyone to be their complete self and to bring all that they are to the table Okay, and that's just such a beautiful synergy to have where everything that you bring together means that you are so much more than you would be individually. Okay, so that's it. Have a fantastic February. Enjoy, and I will speak to you again soon. Bye.